G'day guys, here's a fast and simple way to create 3D roofs. So first what you need to do is click on the protractor tool. So you click on that, then on your keyboard you can use the arrows to lock uh, the protractor in different planes. So if I press the left arrow, it locks it on the green, right is red, up is blue. So I'm going to tap the left arrow. Put it on the corner of my roof plan. So I always tend to draw the roof plan in 2D first if you, uh, when I'm designing. Um, and then once you've got the roof plan, I'm going to click there. And then go along the edge here and click. And then bring it up and type in the pitch for the roof. And it's going to be 30 and enter. And I just go around and do that on each corner. Um, one other way you can lock the plane is if you left click and hold your mouse button down. Um, you can drag it along the different edges and that locks the plane. And we just need a few more. Um, okay, so those lines are now being done. And I'll just change the style of the um, protractor lines just so you can see them a little easier. And you can do that under the styles dialog, edit, mix, sorry, modeling settings, and then um, guides. We'll just make those nice and red so you can see them. Okay, so once you've got your guidelines in place, um, we can just get the line tool. And you just click to begin on the corner. Go along the line. Touch the apex of the roof and then bring it up until it hits the guideline and then just back down to the other side then I just tend to go along the ridge press the left arrow on my keyboard and it locks it reference the point below, click and then back down the valley okay so a little trick is like if I just click here anywhere along that part but like lower than this ridge here Go along the red line just for sorry a red axis for a little bit and then back down to here what that does is just generates a face here and then what i can do to just match that face is if i even just touch that point and bring my cursor up you can see it creates like a little bit of a rubber band if i then hold shift while going up and then i touch that plane it's going to align my new starting point for my line to this plane. So if I click, I've already matched the right point in space. Click. And then I just hit escape once on my keyboard, and I can take that back along the ridge. And then lock it on the red axis, click. And then for this point, I touch, but don't click, bring it up in a way, hold shift, and then touch the plane, and it just also matches that angle, and click. And you can see I've created that whole face without even needing to use that guideline. But it can be quite useful to have those guides in place if you want to do it the manual way. Let me just finish drawing that along. Okay, so then that valley goes down to there. This ridge goes along until it lines up with here. And then it just goes back down to here. Okay, so. Um, we don't know that plane there, but what we could do then in that case is just repeat the process on this end. Start at the end point on the corner and go up. And then back down. And then you have that ridge, and that lines up with there. So again, you can use your arrows to lock it on axis, or hold shift when you're drawing along an axis. So that completed that face, and then just draw a line down to there. I must have typed in the wrong angle there. I may have typed 25. Once you're done with your guidelines, you can just go to the edit menu and hit delete guides. And then you've got 3D roof. And then what I tend to do is just on the gable ends, just erase these two, these two points. Okay, and there. Get the line tool from the bottom of the fascia, draw up and along, and then down, find parallel, touch the point at the top of the apex, then down, 
touch this point, come down until it gets parallel, and then just keep repeating on each gable end. And then you can just push pull the um, fascia end back. And then once you've done one, you should be able to just double click on the others. So that's our sure method for 3D modeling ruse in SketchUp.